Hola, continuous liners. Muy buenos dias. This is Megan Burns coming to you live from the streets of Guanajuato on Thursday, December 21st, 2023. Today is the winter, well, it starts the winter solstice, right? We are in solstice energy. We were yesterday too, right? Like it's not like a moment, it's a thing, right? So I hope you are enjoying and marking the season in whatever way feels appropriate to you. I'm here up on the perch in Guanajuato and I'm going to do some of my line warm-ups. I'm just awaiting the delivery of my beautiful, I had to get a tiny latte because they have like the world's largest latte here. It's like a cup this big and I'm like, yeah, I don't really need that much coffee. (laughs) So uh, if you're with me, if you're tuning in, if you're watching, go ahead and grab a ballpoint pen and some copy paper and let's just start making some lines here because because that's what we do here that's what we do we make lines we practice our lines we do line warm-ups we do continuous line right right (laughs) that's what i do oh my goodness i feel like i'm gonna sneeze uh so you're allowed to break your line for for sneezing for sneezing for petting a dog for having a sip of your coffee or whatever and um if you have to scratch your head or whatever. <laughs> what I'm trying to say is it's okay to break your line. Uh, you know, oftentimes when people start doing continuous lines, they say to me, oh, I lifted my pen, right? Honestly, I don't care. And you know what? Nobody cares, right? Like, yeah, I'm sure someone out there is an absolute purist about uh, continuous line and that's totally great right like the point of this is not to like never lift your pen the point of it is to push through your drawing fears to understand greater composition and to build confidence right which in all three of those things that it builds skill right it builds drawing it builds your skill no matter where you're at if you just keep practicing continuous line those are the three benefits that that happen for everyone whether you've been drawing for a million years or you just started a, a, a millisecond ago right I think that's why it's this is like one of the greatest tools and it's not mine I just happen to jump on this pony and ride it <laughs> ride it hard right because I discovered how well it works for me and how much like I, I moved to Mexico City when I um now, I had moved to Mexico City, and I started using continuous line because of the overwhelm of the city, right? Like, it's a big, massive city. And so I just started, um, like, okay, me, just don't even worry about it. Just put your pen down and start drawing, right? Just put your pen down and start drawing. And then from that, I just developed um, uh, gracias. I just developed a curriculum around that, gracias, Muchísimas gracias. <laughs> okay, my beautiful latte just got delivered. Like I said, you can, um, I like this one because there's a saucer with it, right? Look at how cute this is. Don't you love that when you get, any chance you can, go to the cafe and get a proper thing, right? Like, there's people that go to cafes and get the to-go cup, and I get it. We're sort of trained to do those things, but those go into the garbage, right? So when you can, get the proper coffee cup, and ideally... With the Coffee Sketch 2023 Challenge, you're inspired to go explore cafes, right? Why not? Let me have a sip of this. Por favor, con permiso. Mm. Ooh, it's hot and it's strong. (laughs) And it's beautiful. Look at this. I love that. I love it, right? Coffee Sketch 2023, we're on day 21 of it, right? At this point, like I passed the point of pain and it's just like, I'm like a machine with it, right? Just do it, just do it, do it, do it, right? Because um, you gotta do it and just just get it over with, right? These drawing challenges can be, well, they're called challenges for a reason, right? They, they push you, they, they challenge you, right? They challenge your creativity. And I know people have fallen out. It ha- it's what happens. It is what happens. I mean, it's not, I'm going to say it's no small task to finish a drawing challenge, but you know, there are smaller tasks out there or bigger tasks out there, right? It just that it pushes your creativity. And so you have to like, at, at, especially three weeks in, it's like, my God, what am I going to draw today? 
Am I going to draw the same cup? Maybe. Why not, right? There's no, there's nothing saying that you can't draw the same cup. I've been doing the coffee thing in my house, and I don't have, I left a lot of cups back in Mexico City, so I don't, I don't have the kitty that I used to have. <laughs> and, uh, and I, there's not many cafes here, so I'm not really, I mean, there's some. You know what it is? There's plenty of cafes, but they're all loud. Every establishment in Guanajuato has music blaring. And I remember Ugo telling me that uh, when we were talking about me moving here. He's like, I remember him saying, you know, the thing I think that's going to bother you the most is the noise. And I'm like, well, I live in Mexico. I can, Mexico is loud, right? There's noise everywhere. Everyone, you know, everyone thinks Mexico City is the loudest thing in the world. Honestly, my experience in Mexico City was very, very tranquil. I had a very little quiet pocket. I heard hummingbirds, and uh, I heard the mom yelling at her kids um, behind, and, you know, I could hear her, you know, in Spanish. And I liked that. I liked hearing, like, Mexican life, right? And then as I moved out, I was starting to hear more construction, and my building turned Airbnb, so I was hearing more, like, gringos. I mean, I'm a gringo, right? Like, I can't, I can't be mad at gringos for doing what I'm doing, right? Anyways, what am I saying? Oh, yeah. So, uh, Juanajuato is quite loud. <laughs> it's loud, right? And so, they don't have, in Mexico City, you had cafes out on the street. And uh, here, they're all inside, right? Like, I just closed this door over a little bit. And ha if I open it, it would be like, boom, 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 boom. The bass is very loud. <laughs> in this little French cafe, La Vie Rose. Um, they're also not used to like people just buying a coffee, right? And working. Like they want to give me breakfast and have me linger here for an hour. And they're like, you want your latte and the check, right? Like I had that just like, I want my check at the same time. What? <laughs> what what is that you're not going to be here for three hours having a leisurely mexican breakfast no <laughs> i never do that i never did do that and i never do that right anywho what am i trying to say um you know so i may have some like challenges in finding place to do my continuous line but it's part of the magic right it's something i love it's not the biggest problem in the world. I'll find a place to draw. I'll find a place to do my drawing warm ups, even if it's in my house, or even if it's like, I don't know. I'll f always find a place. You know why? Because my continuous line has got me on this really grand adventure where I'm out seeing and experiencing the world through my drawings and through my lines, right? And I love that. I absolutely love it. And I don't take it for granted, right? These are like very interesting times, right? I mean, you can always say that about life, but uh, you know, like here we are going into 2024 and there looks to be some big uncertainties about the world, right? Some big uncertainties, right? And I won't even go any farther than that because I think we all know, right? And so, um, what am I point? <laughs> what am I saying? Uh, yeah, so I, I, I forget exactly what I was saying <laughs> <laughs> but with all these uncertainties, the thing I know I'm going to be doing is drawing, right? Drawing my world um, because it's the thing that helps me get through, right? Even if it's the coffee cup in front of me, even if it's, I mean, I'm here in Guanajuato. It's got the world's funkiest architecture. It's really a city that, you know, is way past its prime. This was a city that was like the schnizzle back in its day it was a grand old dam right this was a silver mining uh uh town and it was it was it was a boom it was a bust it was a boom then a bust and it was like the richest city in mexico for a while right when the whole silver trade was going on and now it's sort of dying it's you know even Ice, the, the city has mountain ranges, and they have, uh, Guanajuato is called the city of, fro the place of frogs, right? And I had heard that reference for a while, but like now that I can see the mountain ranges and I get up early and I go stare at them, it's totally frogs, right? Like the mythology in Mexico is like completely fascinating, right? So it's all these frogs, and I feel like they're dead, right? Like I, I feel like they're dead. I feel like the city is dying. 
and I'm not trying to be like, oh, I know everything, and I know everything, and I know everything. But this, I'm just reading the energy, right? Like it's a, it's a decaying city, and that doesn't mean things aren't happening, right? There's a whole bustle of activity, and it's a university town, and it's there's music here, and there's a big festival. The whole city was like huge concert fireworks. So the city is alive. I'm not trying to say it's dead that way, but I feel like the energy of the city is like decaying. So it's very interesting. And then you compare it to San Miguel, an hour and 15 minutes over the mountain, completely different energy. And I'm really glad I'm here to explore this, even though the city frustrates me a little bit, whatever. Um, I, you know, I'll find my way. I'll find my way and I'll keep drawing my stories and I'll keep telling pictures. <laughs> what? Telling pictures? Yeah, I'm going to keep telling my pictures, right? Uh, because the world needs us storytellers, right? I mean, photography is cool, but there's nothing like a drawing. There's nothing like a handmade drawing, right? Like, and in this day and age of art, art is very complicated too. My God, you know, I always uh, get photo references from my Zoom drawing classes. And I used to just use straight up photos. Uh, my, I tried to use a lot of mine, but you know, I just, I do what I can because I like to have interesting prompts, right? But it seems like now when I Google search something like photo prompts, I get so much more AI and it's a complicated thing, right? Like I'm not encouraging AI. I'm not like, oh, let's all make AI. Who knows? Maybe my art could show up in an AI. I don't know. But anyways... The photo prompts, when you Google something, there's a lot more AI in it. So it's just, these are kind of like funky days, right? This coffee is super strong. <laughs> it just hit me. <laughs> uh, and I've already had a cup at home, so I'm, I'm like zing, 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 zing. Anyways, the, the, uh, the continuous line warm-up that I'm doing right now is a slow moving one so I'm not going to get through the whole page in fact I'm going to end it right here because I need to get back up to my house to prepare for the zoom sketch drawing continuous line sessions right so I'm going to finish big with a heart remember to go easy on yourself easy on others easy on yourself easy on others these are crazy crazy days it's only going to get crazier my god you see what's happening in the united states i mean i wouldn't be surprised if everything just went to hell in a handbasket right <clears throat> we'll see the year ahead is going to be interesting so take care stay sovereign do your thing right do your thing to stay sovereign to stay grounded to stay centered whatever you got to do right me personally, I'm going to keep um, breathing. <laughs> I'm gonna, I can't go bike ride. I almost said bike ride. I can't bike ride here, so I do a lot more walking here. Boring. Anyways, I miss bike riding. Um, but I'm also going to keep drawing. Keep drawing because it's what makes me sane, right? There we go. Finish. Oh, I want one more heart here. Finish big with a heart. Go easy on yourself. Go easy on others. All right, everyone. Day 21 of our Coffee Sketch 2023. Salud. <laughs> Keep going. You're almost there. You're almost there. But remember to finish big with a heart, right? And do your lines and go easy on yourself all right everyone have a great day and i'll see some of you in zoom in a little bit and oh i'm going to be announcing the new uh pro the new schedule right because for the new year so stay tuned for that those of you who are watching okay have a great day do your lines tell your stories we need your stories okay bye